Hello, this is uh, Stefan Francois. Welcome to Halcon 11 Fast Track Tutorial 2 Getting Around Halcon with Edge Develop. So, in the previous tutorial, we have installed Halcon 11 on our machine. Now uh, we can run Edge Develop uh, to have a better idea of what it is. So this is a reminder of uh, the limitation of the demo version. Uh, typically no saving and a reminder and then blocks of anything that is additional. Uh, you can read on your own I guess when you try. Um, uh, so it comes in different windows. Uh, I'll come uh, to the details uh, later on, I guess. Uh, I guess the most important thing that you probably want to try at the beginning is to have an idea of you know, what is possible to do. And uh, uh, MVTech is providing a really great uh, way uh, to present the demo program. So you go under File and you have uh, this line here, the, the Browse, Hulk, uh, Edge Develop. Uh, program examples. So you have uh, that dialog that will show um, all the examples that are available uh, but organized in a different way. So they are it's always the same list uh, but organized in a different way. So here pair application area. Um, you can see you know color inspection, what you have in color inspection, what do you have in uh, object recognition 3D, so you have a bunch of examples. Uh, robot vision, you know, what do you have? Um, so organize like this, or pair industry, and printing industry, and uh, electronic components, and stuff like this, and then by methods. So if you already know, I know a particular method, and then you like to see how it works, and how it's presented, the FFT is on here. Um, you know, geometric measurement, you know, some uh, give you some example about this. So it's fairly interesting. Um, then you have operators, so if this is a link to the list of operators that are available um, in um, Halcon. So uh, to follow the same organization, you're interested to use one in particular and you'd like to know you know, how it's used. So, you know, that particular function is used in this example, so you can have a better idea of uh, how to use it. So, this is why it's fairly interesting. And if you're already familiar with Halcon, and uh, for example, you were familiar with 10, and then you want to know, okay, what's new in 11, then you just go new in 11, and then you know you know, what uh, is either been updated, but uh, most likely with new operators. So new operators usage with demo examples. Uh, so that's, um, you know, this presentation. So this is really up to you in some aspect. I can run one example, um, an exact, you know, new in 11 would be, would be great. Um, uh, for example, we can show that one. I think that would be uh, interesting. So you have the choice here. So it's either you open in the current Edge Develop window or you uh, open a new one. So we can, you know, open in the same one, and that's fine. Um, for example, we can close this uh, for uh, clarity. So as you can see, we selected one and then it loaded the program. So this is the way the program looks when it's loaded. Uh, so this is a fairly advanced editor. Um, uh, we'll see in details also later on, but just to have an idea. So as you can see, this is uh, fairly based on, uh, closely based to Pascal. Um, you know, calling some functions and you have some variables. That's the assignment, um, uh, if else statements. Um, so. It's fairly you know, straightforward for anybody that uh, programs a little bit, I guess. Um, so typically, when you have a demo program, the simple thing to do is here, run, or execute run, 
So we have some example here. So, so that's a reminder again that we are in the demo version. Um, so we go. So you you have some reminder. Press F5 to continue. So each time we press F5, we have that message due. Um, so we might have some window that overlaps. But that's fine. So here in the example, we are adding um, samples um, to the uh, classifier. So this is a new type of classifier that uh, is based on samples. So in some way, uh, we don't need to manually train the classifier. It's all done automatically. So very fairly simple and fairly powerful. Again, I press F5 in the message, then the other pop-up. So I think the error rate is... Uh, you know, if it's uh, an error or not, so it's fairly good. Everything is good right now. So as you can see, we can run uh, this uh, pretty um, 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 sophisticated, in some ways, um, example. With the demo version, um, that's uh, fairly easy to do. The, uh, you just have the pop-up window that you know, comes up from time to time, but that's about it. So here, uh, this is typically, in some ways, uh, um, can be a bit confusing in the beginning, but uh, uh, here you can see at the end that you know, everything stopped. Uh, so it will mean that uh, uh, the program ended. Uh, yeah, there will be no, there's no signal in that uh, example to, to inform you about that. Um, so the green arrow is the, uh, uh, the the program counter in some ways. So it shows you where where the program execution execution is. Um, so here you can see that at the end. Uh, if you want to rerun it, uh, you can go again here to learn how it works. So, uh, um, uh, you go there to the reset. So that would be F2. You reset uh, the execution of the program, and after you can run again. So you have some options to execute. Uh, you can run with a step. Uh, so that would be F6. Uh, you can jump into procedures, so that would be F7. You want to step out as F8. That would be the most important one: the uh, F5, F6, and uh, F7 and F8. Um, some breakpoints allows you to, uh, to to step or to to jump to the to the part that interests you. Um, so that would be the way to to do it. So you know, just example: F2, F5. And uh, you know it runs again, so the same exactly the same way. So just show a little bit uh, again. So this is running. There will be a message, blah blah. blah. So you know, for example, we say no. So then we stop. Um, that later. So basically, this is uh, uh, how you run a demo program. So again, you want to change it. You go back, you know, go there, um, choose another one. Uh, you know, another one about bottle is fine. You know, open. So uh, the new script uh, loads, and then we press F5 to run. And that's it, you know, that's uh, the new one, uh, the new script is running, so we continue. Still have a limitation here, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure why uh, it's not going, but you know, that's... Uh, that's uh, oh because it's loading uh, it's loading everything that's why uh, so uh, 
Okay, that was a bit uh, you know, difficult to run with the demo version this one, but no. You know, it's possible to run. Okay. So that's kind of the uh, the idea here. Okay. Okay, uh, and again, you know, if you run another one, um, just pick another one, and that's about it. I guess that's the the most uh, uh, interesting one here. Uh, so, how you run demo program of your liking with Edge Develop. Thank you for watching.